see why people break up. It's really simple. There was a study done with long-term marriages and how they stay together. Keep in mind, they defined a long-term marriage as over 40 years. So if someone's been married 22 years, that's not a long-term marriage. You may think it's love or fun, but it's not. The reason why people split up is because they lost respect for one another. So if you don't respect your partner, you won't be with them. I'll carry it one farther. If you don't respect your, uh, your supervisor, if you don't respect your company, you can't stay more than about three years. Usually the first year, you chalk it up to the honeymoon phase. Second year, you're trying to find solutions, but in year three, you're actually going against your value system. The reason why we lose respect for someone is because we don't share the same values. Let me tell you why that's important and how you can find your values. If you have different values, you have different thoughts, feelings, and actions. So if, how you feel about food or about the way people are treated or about work or how we care for the house or how we care for others, all those things are rooted in our value systems. So our actions are derived from values. And I would just tell you, if you don't share values with someone, you're not gonna be able to be in relationship with them. It's the number one reason why people break up. <clears throat> it's why people leave relationships, why they leave their work. Now, if you're trying to hire someone, you wanna hire people who share your values. If you're working on something, you wanna be with someone who shares your values. If you're in relationship, share values. So let me show you how to find them. For the next week, I want you to write down every single time you have an emotional reaction to something that goes wrong in your world. Where are you triggered? Where do you get activated? You can also look in the past. What are some of the horror stories in your past? Like something someone said that offended you or something that someone did. If you really want to get triggered, watch the news. But don't watch the news you normally watch. Watch the other guy's news. Read something you wouldn't normally read. Spend time with people you wouldn't normally spend time with. Believe me, they'll be faithful to activate you. <laughs> triggers aren't very far away from you. When you find out what triggers you, it's activating emotion inside of you. If you have a memory of something in your past, I would tell you that memory can't exist without emotion. You probably don't want, remember what you ate three months ago on a Tuesday. But if you do, there's a story. And if there's a story, there's emotion. And I'll add this, if there's emotion, there's a value. So if you want to uncover your values, look at what gets an emotional response from you. And as you write those down, you'll notice there's a theme. Maybe you value dignity. Maybe you value independence. Maybe you value autonomy. Maybe you value honesty and truth or connection. There's probably five to seven things that are at the core of everything you value. Don't cheap out on this and write things like integrity and service and honor and crap like that. If you really truly believe in integrity, then tell me an integrity story because it affected you with your emotion. So if you want to understand your values, look at what you get emotionally triggered by. Write those down and begin to uncover and discover what your values are. And when you know what your values are, you can start to look for them in other people. You can start to look for them in places to work with people that you spend your time with. And as you increase your value-based alignment, you will increase the quality of your relationships.